so in this video we will be injecting the dll into the remote process so let's get started i have already imported all of these uh, functions required let's create another function let's say dll inject so this will take two parameters one is the process handle and the second one is uh, dll path so the process handle is of type uh, mutable raw pointer and the dll path is a string slice so let's say unsafe block since we are using the uh, uh, windows api we need to put them in unsafe block now we will be allocating some space onto the remote process using virtual alloc x after that we will be writing the path to the dll we want to execute okay after writing the path we need to load the uh, kernel 32 dll and in that we will have a function called load library a so in the with that using and the string the dll string is on the remote process and we can execute a thread we can create a remote thread executing that dll using the load library function so let's first allocate some memory so using virtual alloc x so the first parameter is process handle and the address where we want to allocate the memory uh, we don't want to specify anything the os will automatically choose for us so we want to say pointer null and the size how much we want to allocate is the length of the dll string so we can say dll dll path dot length and the allocation type is mem commit which is 1000 in hex and 0x40 for uh, read write execute and after allocating we will get the base address where the memory has been allocated that remote base now at this address there is a free uh, space where we can write the data string now let's go and write that write process memory write to that process remote base and the buffer so dealer path dot as bytes so this will use the bytes dot as pointer and how many bytes we want to write that is the length dealer path dot length number of bytes written we don't want to care about that uh, so we are good to go so after it after uh, the string was written into the remote process what we want to do is we want to load the uh, kernel that to the dll so we can first get module handle kernel 32.dll and put null character so this is the parameter we are passing to the get module handle so this will return the dll handle and this handle should be passed to get proc address dll handle comma and again uh, we want to specify load library function so this will load the dll from the uh, disk so change this kernel 32 dot dll to So change that kernel that you dot dll to load library a and this will return the function address so this is in our process and the dll can be shared so that's why we are loading this 
uh, function in our uh, process uh, memory address space and then we are going to now create remote thread and thread attributes uh, can be null and the stack size is 0 and the start address is uh, the function address so the function address is of type this one a pointer to thread start routine so if you click uh, hold the control and click on this it will redirect to this one actual data type so again hold control and click on this and you can see uh, Uh, you can go ahead into this documentation and search for this one you can see here this is the option type option of unsafe extern system uh, this is the c type function that takes a thread parameter and returns the d word so uh you can what you can do is you can transmute this function address and it will directly accept as a this data type so what you can do is you can say sum of std mem transmute now you pass the function address so this will automatically convert this into the type as a thread start routine function now in the parameter we want to specify the this one this remote base the place where our dls string is there so we can say remote base and the creation flags should be zero so that our thread gets started immediately and thread id so now that's it that's it for this function dll inject it takes the process handle and the second parameter is dll path now we need to say let pid u32 is equals to 100 and now we need to open a uh, process so we are going to use a uh, process all access change these two f's so this is like adding uh, uh, doing our operation on all of this and inherit handle 0 and the process id is pid now now this function returns the process handle which we can pass into the dll inject uh, function let's also define dll path is equals to now i have generated a dll that is calc 64 dot dll using the meta sprite so so this is the raw string so we have defined this one so the dll path we are going to pass these two uh, process handle and dll path into dll inject function okay now we are good to go so open a process cmd that is that should be 64 bit and we need the process id modify this pid to the our process id now let's go and run this and now we can see the calculator has been popped up we have successfully injected the dll and can double click on this and you can see the modules here there is calc 64.dll and in memory region uh, sort according to the protection type you will get uh, read write execute and here we can see the calc 64.dll path 
So this is how you inject the DLL into the remote process in Rust.